Beginning with an all over base coat on the flesh of a 50-50 mix of burnt red and beige red. And the key here is keeping this mix nice and diluted. So add a drop of water to the mix. It'll be good to go. Base coating the loincloth, boots and wristbands and heavy sienna. Going with a second layer on the flesh here, this is going to be with pure beige red. And the idea here is to start roughing out all the highlights. So what I'm doing is I am putting the beige red over about 90% of the flesh to try to bring that up to the color that I really want it. And I'll be highlighting all of the raised areas of the muscles, really leaving only the base coat in the creases between the muscles. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on every piece of flesh and especially on the face, really want to make sure that all those uh, creases and recesses are left alone and only highlighting the raised areas only. I'm going to be unifying those layers with a beige red glaze and what this is going to do is make the transitions between the base coat and the second layer less harsh in other words making them a little bit smoother Now that those two layers are a little bit more unified, I'm going to be adding the third layer, which will be a 50-50 mix of light skin and beige red. And I will be highlighting along a smaller surface area on the muscles this time than I did with the pure beige red to create the illusion that light is shining off the curvature of the muscles.
Now for the max highlight on the flesh, I'm going to be using pure light skin and I'm going to be highlighting over even a smaller surface area of the model to create the sheen coming off of his body. create some tones on the face, I'll be using a diluted violet red. And I'll be really touching this around the um, eye sockets and in the recesses of the face, especially along the hairline. A base coat of heavy brown for the hair. For the second layer on the cloth and boots, as well as the wrist straps, I'm going to be using heavy brown as well. This is pretty much going to be an all over, over brush, which means I have wet paint on the brush and I'm going over the entirety of the model, leaving only the heavy sienna in the recesses. Now for a third layer on the loincloth, I'm using a 50-50 mix of heavy brown and heavy gold brown. And for this, I'm focusing mostly on the curves of the wrinkles and the curves in the fabric, as well as the edges at the bottom of the fabric. I'm also going to be getting the upper portion of the boots, as well as the individual indentations on the ropes that are holding his boots together. And finally, with some pure heavy gold brown, I am focusing mainly on the edges as well as this little curve that wraps around his leg. I'm also going to be addressing the folds in the fabric as well and giving them a nice edge highlight. Concentrating on the edges of the boot tops as well as a smaller surface area on the ropes that are holding the boots together. Now with a sepia shade, I'll be applying some shadow to the roots of his hairline.
some khaki as a base in his eye. An overbrush of heavy gold brown on the folds of his wristbands. And a final highlight with the same heavy gold brown on the strap that he's wearing around his neck. Applying a highlight of khaki to his individual strands of hair. And using that same khaki to go over the rest of his hair with a little overbrush. Base coat of heavy brown on his teeth and tongue. And a 50-50 mix of khaki and bone white has an edge highlight on both. Some hammered copper on the adornments he's wearing. Basing the handle of his club with flat earth. Heavy brown for the straps. Heavy blue-gray as a base for the stone. As well as his base. Darkening that up with some black wash, both on the base and on the stone. Applying a small highlight to the handle with Japanese uniform World War II. Applying a highlight on the base with Stonewall Gray. and applying a highlight with the same stonewall gray to the upper portions of the stone of the club. Using wood grain to unify the base and the highlight here. Going over the Stonewall Gray highlight with a layer of sepia wash. And that will do it for the Cyclops. As always, I thank you for joining me. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms will be immediately following the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.